Yes, we're at Stets, the home of champions in the breadbasket parish of St. Elizabeth. It's another serving of schoolboy football in the island of Jamaica in the De Costa Cup for 2023. And this is on your home of champions. As that shot shows you, we have a bit of rain, but we'll be, we're going to be seeing Magatti versus Roger Clark. And I was about to ask Christopher Taylor, the analyst, what his prospect for the weather was, but his gift as a meteorologist will not be tested today. That's the Magatti team you see it on screen. They're getting their feet wet, prefer <laughs> prefer <laughs> as uh, would say proverbially. And we're getting ready to see a team that hasn't really had a great tradition in schoolboy football, Roger Clark. And let's see how they fear in uh, this encounter. Magatti, they've had uh, measured success, especially in uh, the 2018 2019 seasons we'll hear more about that in a short while but we're getting ready to see the teams march out officials getting ready So they enter the field, which has become synonymous with schoolboy football in the island of Jamaica. St. Elizabeth Technical. Two finals were completed at the senior level last year on this very ground. And for 2023, our first the trip in the Breadbasket Parish. Roger Clark led by their captain, Jordan Akins. Meeting the players from Magatti. And now they have the chance to face off. So the referee. Makina Brown, assisted by Princess Brown and Oral Wright. The captain there for Makati, Daniel Martin. And they have their confabulation now, the referees and the fourth official. Here's a team sheet now for Magadie High. In goal, J. Roy James, Giovanni Findlay, Dante Blair, Akeem Rangley, Chadwick Jackson, Shawnee Daly, Roshane Lewis, Oswayne Miller, Jeraen Robinson, Daniel Martin, and Rabina Barge. They're coached by Xavier Hendricks. They'll be playing with a 4-3-3 formation, Magati High. Daniel Martin, their leading goal scorer with two goals. Rabina Barrett off the mark with one as well. And look out for the creativity of Roshane Lewis, who has two assists. Here's the team sheet for Roger Clark. Their goalkeeper is Raquan Powell, Taquan Hansen, Rashane Malcolm, Dante Blake, Deshaun Wright, Jamali Wilson, Adiana Poiser, Kimani McLean, Anthony McDonald, Rodane McDaniel, and Jordan Akins, coached by Errol White. 4 2 3 1, the formation for Roger Clark. And their only goal scorer, Kimani McLean, who has two goals there, number 10. Look out for him. And he will get a lot of help from Othniel McDonald, who has the only assist for them. Their number 11, those two goals coming against Lakovia. Magati trying to play that one deep upfield. But that's a goal kick in the early exchanges.
Magherty trying to settle in the half of Roger Clark. Daniel Martin has it. Still Martin playing it back now to his defenders, Findlay and Blair, all the way back to the keeper, Jeroy James. Blair to Jackson. Seeming to have some problems with their foot in the players. Slight drizzle, but only compounding the measure of rain that St. Elizabeth has been receiving, especially Santa Cruz, but they're continuing. Number 10 plays it, that's Rasheen Lewis, onto the path of Jerry Robinson. Fires, uh, but that was blocked fortuitously by Roger Clark. Looked to have been Taquan Hansen there with a crucial block as Magherty on the ascendancy in the first uh, three minutes of this encounter. They have a corner kick. Delivered. A bit short. Played out of touch by Redane McDaniel. Let's look at the coach there, Xavier Hendrickson. Hendricks, rather, for Magaji, math teacher. So the match commissioner has uh, made the decision to halt the proceedings based on lightning. So that's a break in our coverage here at uh, St. Elizabeth Technical in this encounter between uh, Magherty and Roger Clark. As I said earlier, came being paused because of lightning and the teams are being instructed to go back to the locker rooms and the safety must come first. So we're back inside this encounter between Magherty and Roger Clark. Game has resumed. That ball is Magherty. So still in the early stages of this game. Of course, the game was paused because of lightning strikes. And after a lengthy wait, the sun is out in all its glory. So here's a free kick deep 
able to play it out. Still trying to get the ball out is a Roger Clark. Magachi now on the ball. Roche and Lewis. Seems to be a bit injured. But Magachi still has the ball. So the referee halted proceedings there. Rashid Lewis, the striker for Magaji. Down. Still Magaji. Referee there giving a kick, free kick to Magaji. Just outside the 18-yard box. Here's a kick way over the top and that will be a goal kicker for Roger Clark High this in the seventh minute I haven't pressed anything. So Roger Clark with a throw in. That was wasted. Magatti now able to clear. Ball played through. With the Jerry Robinson now. Enters the box. Jerry Robinson. Oh, he muffed that one. It was under some amount of pressure. But he really should have done much better. The number 12 from Magati. Roger Clark, they collectively breathe a sigh of relief that in the ninth minute of the encounter. Has some speed about him, Jereen Robinson. Just wondering if he should have probably cut in a little bit more just to close the angle, and just to open up the goal a little bit more for him. An important nudge, though in the defense line of Roger Clark, preventing him from getting the accuracy he needed on that shot. Here's Magotti. Looks to be Lewis. Still, Magotti trying to advance. Chadwick Johnson now. Turns inside his marker. Lays it off and gets the return pass. Back now to Blair. He goes all the way back to Findlay. First real progression of passing from either team. And the surface, even amidst the rain, doesn't seem as soggy as we would have seen in past years, Christopher Taylor. Yeah, even though there are serious thunderstorms in terms of lightning, I wouldn't say that the rain was heavy for any prolonged period yes a bit consistent but on the lighter side of things so i think 
that's one of the reasons why as well that we haven't seen the heavy remains. Robinson, the intended target, he gets it one time. Oh dear me, how did he manage to miss kick that one? Still Robinson, cues it for Lewis. Lewis! Just wide of the target. And you can see that Raquan Powell in goal for Roger Clark would see nothing about that one had it been on target. But yes, football is on show here at Santa Cruz. Yeah, another bite strike by Lewis. Hasn't scored so far this season. Two assists to his name, though, Roshane Lewis. And that shot skewing off the outside of the boot. There you saw the wet conditions, so the ball going a little bit away from him. Didn't wrap his foot around it. But look at this. Good first touch. Getting yeah. inside of the fender. We needed to use his left foot there. Robinson. Here they come again. Oh, that one went over the top. Oswain Miller there, the culprit on this occasion and not able to bring it on target. And you just get the feeling, Christopher Taylor, that soon and very soon, if Magadi continues this vein of pressure, this vein of form, they'll be able to open the scoring. Yeah, lots of defending for Roger Clark. They have conceded 18 goals in their three games thus far. So clearly under pressure generally in their games, and quite frankly, they haven't been able to stop the teams from scoring. Here's Magotti once more. Lewis to Robinson. That's generally been the pattern of progression. Lewis there, the central attacking midfield position. Spreading it wide to the winger. Xavier Hendricks there giving some instructions. Not sure if they'll change that pattern of play. It has reaped some amount of dividends so far. But the finishing just hasn't been as polished as I'm sure he would like. Roger Clark, they're trying to clear. But Magati. In a throw in there on the right hand flank. Jackson takes it quickly to Lewis. Stripped of possession, but Magati regains it. The foul there against young number nine from Roger Clark, Adiana Poiser. Interestingly, we spoke to coach Errol White and he mentioned that there are seven players under 16 for Roger Clark and four under 14. So he's definitely trying to build a program at Roger Clark High. For those who might be wondering, formerly Balaclava High School, but it was posthumously named after Roger Clark after his death in 2014. This school, the, the name was changed in 2015. Here's Daly. Magati still with the ball. Oswain Miller there. Brought down. Tequan Hansen there, the number two for Roger Clark. The guilty culprit. They have a free kick. Can be from a very dangerous position. So they line up with a three-man wall, it seems, Roger Clark. Rabina Barrett, the man standing behind this one. And this is perfect territory to go directly to goal. But they also have a lot of coverage at the back post, does a Magatee High School. Barrett steps up. Way over top. Yeah, this is a point in strike in the end, and he knows it as well. You can see it on his face. But Magati in these first 15 minutes of play. Certainly with a bigger resume over time. And they have really kept the pressure, pressure on Roger Clark.
poor clearance, if you could even call it that. Here's Magatti once more. Findlay. Brought down with the number nine, Ashani Daly. Yellow card coming out as well. Kimani McLean there, the only goal scorer for Roger Clark since the beginning of the season. Here's the opposite number 10. Lifts it up. And almost very dangerous there. Just able to claw it out with Roger Clark. It's a throw in for Magatti, taken quickly by Jackson. Trying to find Daniel Martin, but booted out of touch. Yeah, Magatti only better off by a point. Of course, earning a draw against Monroe College in their opening game of the season. 2 1 losses at the hands of St. Elizabeth Technical and BB Coke. There are other results. Tight matches, but coming out on the losing end of things. more positive so far in their approach here they come again Magatti stripped of possession oh, Neil McDonald loses possession for Roger Clark Daly sends it across to Martin Martin it was always going to happen that's Rabina Barrett from Magatti High School opening the scoring in the 17th minute. The writing was always on the wall. And they have opened the scoring against Roger Clark. Beautiful pass all the way through to Barrett. Did well. And he finished with a plum. Raquan Powell had no answer to that one at the near post. Good first touch. Good finish by Rabina Barrett. It's his second of the season. And yeah. I'm sure any gymnastics instructor will give him a high grade for those backflips as well. Barrett. But as you said, Dean, certainly the writing was on the wall for Magatti. Attacking well, putting the pressure on Roger Clark. And that cutting edge pass really opened them up. Slight shift in their formation. Well, not necessarily their formation, but the assignments of different individuals. We see the number 12 who was on the right being shifted to the left, but Roger Clark, they're trying to come forward. That's broken up by Anglin. So the assist came from Ashani Daly for that goal, converted by Rubina Barrett. So Blair to Findlay. To Daly, the captain there getting a touch. That's Daniel Martin in number 13. Magatti definitely trying to impose their possession based game on this encounter. Hasn't been very hard to do so. The youthfulness, the inexperience of the Roger Clark team. Throwing for Roger Clark. McDonald takes it to Poiser. Adiana Poiser, the young number nine. Turning. Release now for the goal scorer, Robina Barrett. Maggie advancing. That touch was a bit too heavy, but fortuitously. It still fell, and it's a goal! How on earth did they allow that one to get in? Oswain Miller! It fell like a gift all the way from heaven to his feet, and he buried it 2-0. That in the 20th minute, 17th minute, 20th minute, the floodgates have been open. Things falling apart here for Roger Clark. This touch has seemed very heavy 
it was heavy. He had a lot of speed about him, though. The goal scorer, Barrett. And then coming off the upright, and Miller, the first to react. A miss at the back for Roger Clark. Just here where the ball hits off the post. Just taking too long to react, skipping out of the way. And, yeah, Miller certainly made the most of it. His opportunity, his first goal of the season. And yeah, distance now between Magatti and Roger Clark. Magatti. Martin. That's Daly. Trying to bring in Barrett. But that ended up in the hands of the goalkeeper, Raquan Powell. Unable to really clear effectively. Almost a good turn that. But it's still with Magatti now. The advance is Robinson. Robinson sends it across. Oh my, he just couldn't apply the finish there. And they're turning on all the styles, uh, this Magatti team, and they're all smiles as well. Beautiful pass that from Martin to Robinson, whipped it across and Oswin Miller just couldn't get the final touch there to bring it on target. Here's Magatti. Daly. That's broken up, but they regain possession. Miller now. Powell should handle that one easily, he does. Tries to clear. Haven't really been doing an excellent job in clearing. And that only compounds the pressure on Roger Clark. Ball being played out now. Now, it's with Roger Clark dispossessed. Back now to Rang Anglin. I think that Ranglin, the number six, Martin, the captain. To Lewis. Jackson. See the difference in size there, just easily able to push off Poiser. Here's Barrett now on the right hand flank. Unable to get by his marker. Jaden Jordan Akins for Roger Clark. change being made Robinson now returning to the right hand flank early in the game he really had some incisive runs on that flank went to the left didn't see so much beauty coach Hendricks has brought him back to that here of the park let's see if it reaps dividends for him personally hasn't really been involved in any of the goals per se Here's Barrett. Unable to. Well, he gets it back. Barrett. Lewis. It's always suspect from that angle. His positioning. Unable to really bring a touch of finesse on that one. 
I tell you, Christela, I'd have never guessed that the sun would be out in this measure of splendor with all the lightning we had earlier. I wish you'd have, you know, taken up your meteorological background and give me some predictions concerning that. I'm so glad you didn't need to come to me for any confirmations. <laughs> But yeah, great to see the sun out now. Hard to believe that the skies are looking so good considering what it was like an hour ago. Everyone shielding for cover from the serious fork lightning strikes. I tell you what, as a Paris St. Elizabeth rejoices because a big match coming up a bit later on. Big St. Elizabeth Derby, Monroe and Stets will renew their rivalry. And yeah, the crowd is just a foretaste of that. And I'm sure it will grow as the afternoon progresses. You can actually see in the distance there the Glen, the Glen Muir football team as well. The Costa Cup team here watching in their full red have a day off today, the Glen Muir team. And they said, well, you know, why not come and watch some St. Elizabeth football? Of course, there are two parishes away in Clarendon, our Glenmuir. Two hard, parishes hard. to the east, you would say. I, I, I wouldn't really even bring in the parishes now because with that new highway, they're only 20, well, not 20, but really just about 50 minutes away now. Yeah. Still two borders away, though. Well, <laughs> you are right, but in terms of time, ease yeah, of travel, listen, yeah. yeah. I see you certainly enjoy the travel from Kingston today to St. Elizabeth. Who wouldn't? On the new road. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Especially when it's free. Not that the cost would have been prohibitive to me. I'm not paying, by the way, listeners. <laughs> Here's Magatti. They're playing deep in their half. And Roger Clark, they are not afraid to really push up. That's a level of confidence that being two goals down so early, I wouldn't have expected. But here comes Magachi. It's now with Miller! He missed one just a few minutes ago. But he had the composure to finish this one with the plum in the 20th minute. Wayne Miller brings the score and Errol White must have a lot on his mind yeah nice build up again in the wide areas into Miller who scores his second of the afternoon two goals eight minutes apart probably should have done better goalkeeper Powell to his right hand side his near post and just sneaking by him but Miller came into this game hadn't scored so scored so far in the season and now he has a brace wow well, it is said that you should make hay while the sun shines and the sun is shining on Magatti right now yeah things have been very comfortable for them controlling the tempo of the game the possession the midfield play and certainly they look dangerous in the wide areas while coming to poiser unable to take it first time still has it poiser forced wide by jackson got by only just yeah we all love to see a diminutive player with the tricks and frills but here comes robinson now goalkeeper came forward had to retreat robinson oh my just off target it would have been a spectacular goal a spectacular attempt in the end but yeah a bit of curl just brought it away from the far upright good attempt by robinson but as you can see that touch as well taking it away from goal not a bad strike in the end but the natural curl of it taking it past the upright but still would love to see robinson cut in towards the goal just to open up his opportunity in terms of shooting he's been 
he was switched to the left hand side of the attack and it looked like that might have benefited him more because he could cut in onto his right foot he's back on the right now and yeah another opportunity he's had about three overlapping runs i make it so far but his touch just before the strike has always let him down coach hendricks giving them a talking to plays down for Roger Clark, that's the number nine. Adiana Poiser. That's the Glenmuir team. And there's a lot of expectation on Glenmuir Road. That's the number 10, Kyle Gordon. What a play he was in the Ben Francis Cup final with the man of the match there. Three victories from three matches so far for Glenmuir coming off. Was it a 15 nil winner? I think it was 16. 16 nil win against Poros. They have a big match coming up on Tuesday against Denby. Right, that should be a good one. Dunstan Cohen. I was just about to say, yeah, coming <laughs> off his, what, nine goal exploit? Yeah. <laughs> that must be a record. Errol White there before the match. Had a chat with him. Actually started coaching out of pure necessity, really. And that was during his time at the business house level with the Jamaica Railway Corporation. The coach was unable to continue, and everyone said, Why? You're the next coach. And he was fortunate to have been in the same place training at the same field as Jackie Walters separate team and he learned a lot would watch them in the morning then replicate that in the evening and for his credit would have guided Lakovia to semi-finals here's Magatti Jackson that's Lowe's. him Jackie Walters we'll probably see later yeah coach of Monroe yeah so So as I was saying, yeah, he would have brought Lakovia in his time as the head coach of Lakovia from 1995 to 2016 to the Dacosta Cup semi-final in 2008, where they lost to eventual champion St. James High. And also would have gone to the Ben Francis semi-final. Lost to Spalding. And in 2015, would have advanced that team to the Flow Super Cup. So has had some measure of success for Lakovia, Errol White, and he's trying to bring that same quality, engineer that quality at Roger Clark. And I use that deliberately. He's an auto mechanic teacher by trade and profession, yeah. Hmm, interesting. German automotives. And with a young team like this, obviously the experience they'll gain at the Costa Cup level, Invaluable. There's a corner kick. So hopefully if these youngsters stay together in a year or two, they could be a force to reckon with. Yeah. And with seven, 14 players under 60, maybe that 11 players under 60, yeah, could really do some damage if he can keep them together and if they remain focused. Development isn't always linear, though. But it's certainly not an unreasonable expectation. Here's Robinson. Yeah, heading the ground again, Robinson. Does win his team the corner. Interesting choice that by the captain, Jordan Akins. Here's Jackson, whips it across. Daly there trying off the volley. Would have been spectacular had it gone on. Shauna Daly, the number nine.
Martin. Daly back to Martin. To Miller. Miller gets the return ball. Or does it? No. It looks to be Robinson. He switched flanks again. Daly now. Daly from distance. And a deflection there. Reducing the sting of the, the attempt. It's a corner kick and the number 15 goes over Rubina Barrett. He opened the scoring in the 17th minute. Here's a corner kick coming in. Flicked on. Is Magachi. Roger Clark trying to clear the able to do so. Should be a throw in for Magachi. Franklin. Daly. Lewis spreads it across. Robinson turns. Robinson back to Lewis. Magaji. Lewis from distance easily. Well, I almost said easily handled by Powell. I guess that was predictive and not the reality of what really happened. Hasn't really had the, the best glove work. Requan Powell, the goalkeeper. Miller. To Barrett. Barrett comes in. Barrett still to Lewis now. Cleared easily. It's really been one-way traffic. Findlay trying to bring that one to Robinson, but that was cut out. Poiser, who was down earlier, is now fighting. Martin. Daly. He has a smile. That could have been dangerous for Roger Clark. Robinson get it a crucial touch to bring it across goal. Powell though able to, to avert the danger. You know, Barrett was charging in. Blair boots that out. Lewis. Robinson, he was offside. Poor clearance again. Emblematic of what we've seen of Roger Clark in the defensive third. Let's see if they can have some joy now. They come forward. McLean loses possession rather cheaply. Miller, Martin. Wrangling back to Miller, to Barrett. That was deflected out for a corner kick. Then in the 49th minute,
Yeah, not, not much time to go. Just about five minutes to the half. I did see the fourth official, though, put up two minutes. Not sure why. Martin. So it seems uh, the half being played for 40 minutes. Punched out by Powell. A bit of redemption for him. Didn't look Coming comfortable, alive. but got it done. <laughs> I guess that's the important thing for him, Powell. Yeah, I guess because of the, the interruption due to the weather and the fact that there's a second game, the officials have decided to reduce it from 45 to 40. Well, Here's a corner kick into the side netting. Roger Clark. Car there shown to Shani Daly for that challenge on Kimani McLean, the number 10 for Roger Clark, who was really advancing in a dangerous position. Instructions being barked by the keeper, J. Roy James from Agati. That one just deflected off the wall. So both halves, 40 minutes. A total of 80 minutes for regulation time. And given the circumstances and the, the fact that there is a, another match, I can understand. And the referee indicates the end of the first half in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Magaty leads Roger Clark, three goals to nil. And it's been one-way traffic at the St. Elizabeth complex. Roger Clark, they really haven't been able to develop any great pattern of play. But the experience should do them well. Magati, they're trying to rebound from some not so hot performances early in their competition this season. And this performance must be a relief for Xavier Hendricks, their coach. Yeah, you hear the music blaring in the background. It's, it's a schoolboy football that cost the cup. Magati three, Roger Clark nil. We're at the half. Time now for the water break, fans from the stands. I'm here with Linvo. Uh, Linvo, just give me a quick analysis on this game, Magati versus uh, Roger Clark. Hi. It's not a bad game, you know. I, I can say uh, you can see the superior team, which is Magati. Uh, Roger Clark, they're trying, you know. But I think Magati have the, the, the best of play, passing the ball around quickly and enjoy. We're having fun here. It's a nice little game, despite you know. The, 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 the Magati team is a more superior team, but we are enjoying the game. All right, cool. So let me know, um, if you were the Roger Clark coach, what would you say to them 
in this halftime break? Just come out and play, have fun. You know, just try to get engaged in the game and see what can happen. Anything can happen is a, it's a game of uncertainty. So let's go out and play and have fun. Give me a scoreline prediction. It's 3-0 now, but will they be able to get more goals, Magati? Well, we look, we're probably looking at 6-0, but probably Magati, probably, um, the Roger Clark team probably get lucky and, and pull one. So you never know. That's football. All right, cool. Let's head back now to the game for the second half. Thank you so much, Gerard. Ready for second half action. Magatti versus Roger Clark. Three goals to nil. The scoreline at the start of the second half. Let's see how Roger Clark can respond or how Magatti can compound what they've started. Referee Makina Brown, a bit unsettled. Some interference. That's the referee, Makina Brown. Ready now for the start. So, play resumes now. Roger Clark. Trying to push forward there, the man Roshane Malcolm is brought down. At this distance, certainly within the reach of Kimani McLean, their number 10. Well, we're still awaiting the first shot from Roger Clark, with on target or off. So this is, this is a good sign for the second half for them. Do remember, we are in the second half because it's 40 minutes a half, so that's a, it's an 80-minute game due to the interruptions. McLean. Well, did get the first shot. It was off. Way off. He actually has a goal from a free kick. See if he can get his shooting bo boots on sooner rather than later. He's the only goal scorer so far for Roger Clark. Clark scored both of them against Lakovia in that 10-2 loss. It's a throw in for Roger Clark. Just at the halfway line. Poiser still being able to get by players. Diminutive number nine brought it out of touch. Magati now able to reset and build on their passing game. Their passing was fluid in the first half. You have to give them credit for that. They did seem very organized, having a clear direction as to what they were trying to accomplish. And let's see if they can get some more goals uh, to complement the efficacy of their passing. So throw into Roger Clark, taken quickly. Taken only for the benefit of Magatti. It's Magatti once more. Blair. Effective turn that from Jackson, the number eight. Daily has space. I wonder.
one of his moves from that position, Chris Taylor. Whenever we see him on camera, he's right there. He's a cool head. Come on, the pressure there, the defender from Roger Clark, Dante Blake. Akati still trying to attack Robinson. Now it's Seaman with Barrett. Miller. Yeah, that was far offside from Barrett, though. Certainly wasn't paying attention to the line, the number 15, and clearly offside. Was ball watching a bit and, and guilty on that occasion. Rabina Barrett, who actually picked up the assist for the third goal as well, to go along with his 17th minute strike. In fact, he's been involved in all three goals because the second goal as well, it was his over dribble, if you want to call it, that <laughs> ended up on the upright and came back to Miller, who executed the finish. Here's Magati. Barrett. He's outside again. He's outside again. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Perhaps he's watching the Sportsmax app. Yeah, Xavier Hendricks came to the school in 2018 and that's where they have seen their greatest success Magati quarterfinals in 2018 the quarterfinals again in 2019 and actually in that 2018 went to the semi-finals of the Ben Francis before losing to eventual champions Charlie Munt that season way back in 1998 as well they did make it to the quarterfinals Magati but that two-year period in 2018 2019 quite strong to have a young team, Magati, in a rebuilding phase. Lifted across, Robinson at the end, should have really done better, had a lot of time, Robinson. And with all the pace he has, he really just hasn't been able to deliver a final blow, a telling blow. And in that 28 season, 2018 season where they figured maybe they could go even deeper, they ended up in a tough quarter final group, the likes of Manchester, who they earned a draw against, but then Cornwall College and Glenn Muir, was it? A, no, Garvey Maceo. Garvey Maceo, yeah. Yeah, tough matches. And they ended up falling short. Martin, would fancy a shot from this distance. Martin! Yeah. Off target. a second look at it the angle seemed a bit more glorious than the eventual shot the possibility Roger Clark as a metric a modern day statistic statistic really just from the eye test can't see any progressive defensive pass They've all gone to the favor of Magati. Robinson there offside as well. So most of the passes have been very low. Unable to clear the lines really get it up in Magati territory. Hmm. Here they come now. Matt Donner, unable to lift it over his marker. Calm, composed in playing out from the back in this particular encounter is Magati, Martin, Lewis. Yeah, willing to share the ball, Magati. That has been a highlight of their play. Everybody getting a touch, no one trying to overdo it. Calmness in the back. 
and patient build-ups when they do decide to attack though fluent on the in the flank areas and the lots of speed and that's where they've really opened up roger clark and you look at their their coach xavier hendricks his favorite coach pep guardiola so no surprise that he's interested in that kind of play the magati coach and actually in his time of playing he was a central midfielder believe it or not xavier hendricks played his schoolboy career at monroe so i guess he'll be hanging around later to see what his alma mater can do against the probably the top team in st elizabeth at the moment that game should really be a cracker of course st elizabeth technical they won the all island under 16 competition last year and they were finalists in the rural area under 14 but they won the under 14 as well they lost the all island all title island. Yeah. to jamaica college and i tell you that jamaica college under 14 team uh, it was a joy to watch them chris taylor but yeah and defeated champion in the under 16 competition yeah they've been a bit too hasty in their advance in the final third magati just by the eye, just about three offsides in the last five minutes. Yeah, anecdotal, and don't quote me on that one, but yeah, it's a total of five now, but three of them certainly has been in this half alone. Getting ready to make a substitution. ready to enter the game is number four Kimron Mullings and if you hear the horns yeah the home team they are getting ready to warm up and the gallery shouts their own praise here they come now Robinson Powell really should have done better earlier it's left loose robinson yeah he had to score finally he's on the score sheet rick one powell really did a hash job there really should have come out with a greater level of conviction but yeah good uh, offensive thrust from the number 12 robinson and he was on hand and where powell failed he delivered yeah well robinson have had, has had quite a few good tries and one thing he's certainly been good at is his explosive speed in the wide areas. This time he stayed alert, Robinson. And as you said, Powell, a weak attempt. The goalkeeper, yeah, not strong enough. And not getting his body behind it as a second line of defense. The rebound falling fortuitously to Robinson. His first of the season, though, Jereen Robinson. And now four for Magati. Well, their goal difference looking much better. Should it go to goal differences? They'll definitely want to pile on some more because Lakovia scored 10 against his team. Here they come again. All the way across. Robinson on the end of it. Couldn't bring it back into play. It goes out for a corner kick. And Oswin Miller also. That ball sprayed across by beyond him. That would have been a hat trick if he was able to get it on target, Miller. So it's a corner kick for Magati. Taken short. Dispossessed. And Roger Clark trying to advance. It's a throw in. Quan Hansen looks a bit labored. Here they come again. Agati, Miller, Robinson took it down well. Burst of speed into the box. Jaren Robinson! Powell got a hand to it. Here they come again, Martin to Daly. 
afraid to use the width of the field is Magaty. Seemed to be a free kick for them just outside the 18 yard box. Further right of the half space. Well, your friend Mr. Miller is still leaning against that post. Head coach of, of Roger Clark just looking on. So Robinson is off and coming on. Kevoy Barnes. So having scored that goal, Hendrick says, Coach Hendrick says, let's give someone else a chance. Let's see what Kevoy Barnes can bring to the game. Mullins also coming on for wrangling. Here's a free kick lifted up. Beyond everybody. It's a goal kick for Roger Clark. Here they come again, Magaty. Barrett going straight to the goalkeeper, Powell. Again, not very convincing in that take. But to his credit, only four goals conceded so far in this encounter. Miller he, and he was offside young Lewis there the number 10 yeah that was definitely a close call still didn't manage still didn't manage to finish though Lewis and at the time he wouldn't have known he was offside disappointing in terms of that in the positive now in terms of goal difference Magati they are up to positive two. Seven goals they have scored and conceded five. Here's Poiser trying to advance. That cut out quickly by Magati. It's with Daly now. Martin Jackson Jackson gets it back and yes this passing is now slick Rabina Barrett left it well understood he was offside Miller Jackson skipping by two swift I was trying to swing it across but that was called by the captain Jordan Akins for Roger Clark it's a corner kick for Magaty. The funny thing about it is I don't think Barrett was offside on that occasion. I don't think they, if you looked over at the assistant, he wasn't interested at all. So I actually think he might have been onside, Barrett. <laughs> Decided to leave it though. That corner kick into traffic came to the substitute in the end. 17. That's Kevoy Barnes. Here's Martin from distance. Still wasn't a very convincing hold by the keeper. Did just enough to keep it out. It's a free kick. 
the four Roger Clark. Jero James there. His first hole of the ball. I was about to say, I can't remember you calling his name previously. James. And already almost 60 minutes played. And remember that this game is reduced to 80 minutes. Martin. Beautifully spread it. It's to be Barrett. He finished it. Oh my. No, that's finished. Yeah, in the back of the net. <laughs> it hit the back frame of the goal. Lewis there getting his uh, goal. Got it on his stride and fired. And it was so clean an effort that not even the netting was rattled. Here's a second look, Chris Taylor. Yeah, look at how he cuts in, though, just to cut the angle. Very nice. Good finish, Powell totally exposed, could really do nothing about it, Powell. And you can see that's hitting that back pole along the base. And he has the flips as well, not as expansive, <laughs> but got it done. So five goals uh, to the good now for... And Rashean Lewis is first of the season as well, to go with his two assists. Roger Clark getting ready to make a change. Sean Paul Bruce comes on for Rodin McDaniel. Here's Magatti. Daily. Blair. Well, he is well off. Yeah. <laughs> By a meter or two. He was certainly having a water break on the sideline or something. I'm not sure why he even attempted to go after the ball. I was hoping that the assistant was joining him in that water break. Yeah. <laughs> Daydreaming or something. Maybe you're still celebrating his goal, Rashane Lewis. Roger Clark at the bottom of zone E. They will remain here after this result and now have conceded some 23 goals so far. Their goal difference at minus 21. As I said, this young team, but a young team, but some hard lessons being learned here. Never qualified before for the second round, Roger Clark. Their best showing came back, I think, in, in 1999, actually, when they were still known as Balaclava High. And I think they finished third or fourth in the group, if memory serves me correct. That was the closest they have come. But yeah, you'd like to think that under Coach Miller, who has been around for such a long time and, and done it with Lakovia, made deep runs, that maybe in a couple of years, we could be talking more about Roger Clark's performance. Yeah, that goal from Rabina Barrett. He's now brought off the field. In comes at number 18. 
Kimmel Thomas. A goal and assist, and an assist for Barrett. Good performance, very good. And you said involved in the second goal as well. Here they come again. A superior pace. This will be the number 10. Easy does it. It's another one. It's another one for him. Rashane Lewis. Two on the afternoon. Six for Magatti. It's happening all for their favor here in Santa Cruz. Used superior pace, had great balance. And yeah, unsure, uncommitted, nonchalant, the goalkeeping there. No mistake from the finish. Rashane Lewis, second of the afternoon. Good strength by Lewis just to shrug off the defenders as well. Cut in front of them to ensure that he was in full control. And I love that extra second he took just before he hit it beyond Powell, the composure he showed. And his second of the season and the game. This will be the third time already this season that Roger Clark have conceded six or more goals. Did lose 6 0 at the hands of BB Coke and 10 2 to Lakovia. So lots of work for Errol Miller to do defensively. He did concede it was a young team and. Errol White, I could say. Why did I was there saying Errol Miller? <laughs> Coach White. He certainly seems up to the task. And, you know, some coaches would have been upset and showing a frown. Has maintained an even face. Here they come again. Maggotty. Great pace on the flank. Cutting in. Sends it across. Here's Jackson now. Jackson! Rattling! The crossbar, but it was on the underside. Several goals for Magati. His first of the afternoon, his first for the season. Evil face, Errol White. But he knows his team is in dire straits. Good work in the wide areas, cutting as well. And yeah, that's a good finish. That is a good finish by Chadrick Jackson. Nice step over there, good strike with the right foot, good in-step technique. And he had much too much pace for Powell. And Magatti make th making this a bit embarrassing for Roger Clark now. Seven to the good. control the middle of the park and they come again Magatti this is Barnes dispossessed but it comes to Jackson Jackson oh good save that from Powell equal to the task Powell and where he has been unconvincing before, that was good enough on that attempt. Here they come again. Jackson. Barnes. Lewis. Blocked. They come once more. Daly. Referee McKenna Brown there indicating that Daly.
There's a look at that strike once more from Jackson. Firm hand from Powell to avert the danger. Hansen under lots of pressure. Throw into Roger Clark. Here they come now. McDonald sends it across. Away and clear. Here they come again. Martin, the captain. Weeding through the middle of the field. Lewis. Sends it across. Martin on the end. Straight to the keeper. Free kick from Haggerty right at the edge of the 18 yard box. Shane Lewis standing behind this one has two goals already. Substitution made. Hansen off for Roger Clark. Mundi on. Another change being made. Mark Mundi, number 20. McLean, Kimani McLean coming off, and Deshaun Ferguson coming on. And he's just giving younger players an opportunity. Lewis. Certainly going for glory there. Lots of power behind it, but never got over the ball, Lewis. And it was pretty obvious that that one was going to go high. Just didn't get his strides right. But yeah, certainly Magati in full command. All of the play happening in the half of Roger Clark. And just about 10 minutes to go. Roger Clark with the kick. come again look at the pace look at the pace from Miller Powell really had to come out very strongly it seems as if the other players the defensive peer for Roger Clark they were moving in slow motion Martin to Jackson Jackson oh they're trying to do what is fancy that it was Barnes it seemed the number 17 who came on Jamil Thomas they were the miss kick daily He was battling to keep that one in his hands. It seemed to be a hot potato. Not short of moments to laugh, Chris Taylor. I have some interesting updates for you as well. 
Ian Smith. Please. Heidel, Charlie Smith locked at nil all in Manning Cup action. Calabar leading Kiampa down by four goals to two. Calabar team this season certainly looking very good and a, a difficult group they're in. Casey also in that group leading by eight goals to nil against Penwood. There's Jackson inside and they're really getting more and more in discipline. Magatti. Yeah, offside though for sure. Yeah, so Casey with an 8-0 lead over Penwood. And Mona and St. Catherine locked at one apiece. That's another very interesting game. That Manning Cup one between Mona and St. Catherine, probably the two high-flying teams in that group. Here's Magatti again. Daly. They have to reset now, Magatti. Thomas to Jackson. Jackson. Gets by two, sends it across. It was a shot, actually. That's a penalty. Handball, was it? Yeah. It was an easy call for, for the referee. Jackson into the area. Just look at it here. Arm away from the body. That was hitting on target. Easy call. So I wonder now who will take the penalty. Miller already has two, and Dante Blake there showing the yellow card for that. So Miller was on two, so was Lewis. But the substitute, Kimel Thomas. I'll make that, I'll make that the captain, Daniel Martin, number 13. The one who is going to take this and this, it would be his first for the season. No, he actually has two already. I mean, his first penalty for the season. Well, yeah. two goals behind his name, though. And two assists today. He steps up, converts easily. Daniel Martin, the captain. Very Get confident player. Very confident player, the number 13, Daniel Martin. Where's the captain's armband? And just placed it beyond Powell. Almost wrong footed Powell as well, who was leaning towards his right hand side, was Powell. Couldn't get down in time. Third of the season for Daniel Martin. He is the leading goal scorer for this Magati team. And he has two assists as well to go with it. He's been substituted. Just after that bit of fanfare on his part. In comes uh, Ramando Williams uh, for him. Here's Daly. Was queuing up for a shot. That didn't come. Here they come again. Jackson. Chadrick Jackson. Since Kimmel Thomas has come on, Jackson has been forced further upfield. Here they come again, Magatti. Unable to clear Roger Clark and that miss attempt. Yeah. Miller looking for his hat trick, wasn't yeah. he? I'm not sure you'll get a much easier one than that, though, Miller, but was always falling away. Lots of smiles on that bench for Magatti. Based on their performance, it's a eight prong finish as it stands. 
just about two minutes to go. Of course, this game reduced to 80 minutes because of the interruptions. Some updates for you as well from the Da Costa Cup. Rossi's lead from by a goal to nil. Veer and Foga Road locked at one apiece in another Clarendon derby. And Manning's leading Grange Hill by a goal to nil in the West. Trying to go forward. Here's Sean Daly. Blocked. Yeah, he's anxious to get on this score sheet, isn't yeah. he, Daly? He has an assist already. And I think his team is trying to queue him up. Quite a few players in line for a, a man of the match Honestly, award. Yeah, yeah you would say Miller has two. Roshane Lewis has two, which he scored late in the second half as well and as, as an assist Roshane Lewis and the captain Daniel Martin I, I like his play Two really was a controlling a force in the mid middle of the park yeah was Daniel Martin the captain yeah two assists for Martin and then the penalty in the 77th minute I think it would probably come down to himself and Lewis Lewis has had a, a really good game as well I agree with you. I like the calming presence of, of Martin in the middle. And that's where they really Here they come things. now, Roger Clark. Can this be a moment of glory? <laughs> Getting ready for the Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. And it was uh, this forward thrust by Lewis coming forward and the Jackson with the finish bang on target yeah really a great strike but skip by the man Martin there we spoke of look at that finish that's the Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app courtesy of that man Chadwick Jackson I don't think there will be much time for stoppages either. Normal time has elapsed already. Don't let that clock fool you. The match reduced to 80 minutes. And the word coming is that no time for stoppages. Everybody ready for that second game, Monroe versus St. Elizabeth Technical. And I'm sure Roger Clark would love to hear the whistle at any point now. Big win this for Magatti. Mikina Brown, close the whistle indicating the end of this encounter in of the the costa cup magati beating roger clark eight goals to nil courtesy of a couple of braces one by that man rashane lewis another by his partner in goal scoring brilliance jackson and also miller Registering their first win of the campaign so far. Magati. Eight goals. So that is uh, the full time score. Magati eight, Roger Clark nil. This in the Issa Schoolboy Football De Costa Cup competition. Here in the home of champions. And those are the goal scores as you see them. And Daniel Martin, certainly the captain, would have stood out as a man for the man of the match in both our minds. Yeah. Here are the full match highlights. Started. The goal scoring started in the 17 minute. This ball played out wide, Rabina Barrett. Blasted it by the goalkeeper. That was his first. 
and he fired home with a plum. Rabina Barrett had the flips as well. That was goal number one. It would continue. The 20th minute advancing was Barrett. He pushed forward with great pace and the goalkeeper didn't come. Fell fortuitously to the post. And yes, Miller finished with fury. Aswain Miller opened his account in the 20th minute. Slid on the grass. Once more, Miller getting that pass, beating the goalkeeper at his near post. That's goal number two. Goal number three would come. Number four, rather, would come in the 51st minute. Poor work there from the goalkeeper. And Robinson, Jerrain Robinson, was always a try and always fighting. And finally, he got his name on the score sheet. The 60th minute, another goal. Advancing was Lewis, the number 10. And what a finish it was. It was so clean, it almost fooled me, Chris Taylor. Yeah, look there. Not even the net rattled. It was a clean strike. And he too had flicks. The 64th minute, another goal. Magotti, it was really one-way traffic. What a run from this man. Lewis, again. Easy does it. And this time, the net rattled. And that was his second of the afternoon in the 64th minute. And they were in Easy Street, Magotti High School. The 66th minute. He now proved provider. Lewis, look at this ball. Sent it across. Martin skipped it. And a Jackson, the sports max at moment, fired it in with fury. Great strike that. Absolutely fantastic strike. This was the moment there was a penalty. Miller played it on. Handled it. And the captain, Martin, stepped up and converted easily. And that was the end of scoring. All goals to Magotti. Here are the full-time match statistics. 36 shots for Magotti, only one for Roger Clark. 16 of those on target, none for Roger Clark. Three fouls for Magotti, eight for Roger Clark. Two yellow cards for Roger Clark, one for Mag Magotti. Seven offsides, nine corners, all going to Magotti. 88% of the possessions of the possession for Magotti and eight goals for the good. We go to Gerard. He's with the water man of the match. Thank you so much, Dean. I'm here with the water man of the match, Martin, the number 13 man from Magotti. Let me just ask you this question quickly. If you were to sum up your team's performance, if you were to sum up your team's performance, how would you say the game went for you all, for you all today? Uh, the game went good. I am not. Where are you? Uh, the game went good. Uh, both teams play. Both teams play really well. And we, we just do what we have to do. Yeah, so thank you so much. Well done to you. And uh, hopefully your team can get more wins coming, going on in this yeah. competition. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That, that was a man of the match there. Martin, and I was have a, a chat with Coach White. Coach, uh, obviously not the result that you would have wanted. However, you did say at the start of the broadcast that it is all about uh, rebuilding and, and learning. How much do you think your team has learned today? Well, um, firstly, congratulations to the other team. Um, we did not manage the game as well as we should, um, especially in the 1v1 situation. And therefore, collectively, we did not defend well either. We were always, you know, behind the ball, chasing. But I think it's a learning curve for us. And so, you know, I think they have learned something from it. All right, Coach. Well, we'll see you for the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, that was Coach Earl White there. Let's have a coach a chat now with Coach Xavier from Magati. Coach, you, this is the result that you would have wanted now. You get a win, get to your, you move up to fourth place now, joint fourth place on points. Uh, do you think now this is where the season starts and you can only get better from here? Yeah, we're hoping that it gets better from here. I think once the guys put in more work and work hard and quick on the field, I think it should get a better result in the other games to come. Yeah, what was the brightest moment for you in this game? 
Well, I thought when he moved the number 10 out wide, and I thought we created the opportunities there, and he came out and brought, brought some life into the game for us. All right, Coach, well, congratulations, and thank you so much. All right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of this one. Maggoty, 8 0 winners over R Roger Clark High School at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School Sports Complex in Santa Cruz in the parish of St. Elizabeth. This in the Costa Cup. Yeah, that's the end of this match. We stand by for another great fixture coming up inside this group in St. Elizabeth. Yo, Issa, a schoolboy football look this season. People am ready, you know. All right, then, he go, man in go. Only for your shield, you make me link up. See what the champions got, Ben Francis, what I got with FEMA win the championship this season. Yo, Issa, what about that if a school I got finished the league and beat now? Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people? Yo, Issa, me the fans are roll out all boat. Looking at the crowd, bus load of supporters from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are the superior, they must have a watch it on TV too. Country and turn you nice for one reason. He's a schoolboy football, good cup, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I got better than the best and if I get it, beat your chest. He's a schoolboy football, that team could rise and that team could fall. But they never win no one till the whistle blows around. Yo, Issa, that, that, that competition I never have a nicer. 